today's video I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review on the Alamar Cosmetics palette. I actually recently got this palette in the BoxyCharm that was for the month of June. I recently subscribed to it because I wanted everything that was inside this box. Like there were so many amazing products in the box for the month of June. That's why I didn't go ahead and do a BoxyCharm unboxing video because I actually just got it today and I was dying to play around with this palette as soon as I got it. So I thought okay it's too late to do a BoxyCharm review so why don't I go ahead and just do a review on the Alamar Cosmetics palette that they just launched, which I was so incredibly psyched about, you guys. This is what the palette looks like. It retails for $28. You get four matte shades, and then you get four shimmer shades as well. I think this palette was such a cool idea, and I absolutely love what this palette stands for. Anyway, if you guys want to see my review on the Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I went ahead and did pretty much most of my makeup off camera since I am just reviewing this beautiful palette. So I went ahead and did my bronzer, I did my concealer, my blush, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into the eyes now. Okay, so I really want to do a look where I'm using the majority of the colors in this palette. This is what it looks like. It is so freaking stunning. You know how sometimes when you fold the eyeshadow palette this way and it's kind of hard and you feel like you're gonna break it but you gotta make it so it's easy to fold over? This isn't like that at all. This is so easy. It's like a book. Like look at that. It's like nothing. It was so easy to fold this so that's a big plus for me. All right so I think the first shade I'm going to dip into is the shade Coco Taxi. I'm gonna take this on my Morphe E30 brush I think I'm just gonna place this all over the crease. Wow, that's pigmented. And I'm gonna do this very lightly. I'm just using this as, I think, a transition shade. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Tropico. I'm gonna use a much more precise brush. I'm going to be using the Morphe M433 brush. And again, ooh, this is pigmented. Again, I'm just gonna place this all over my crease, a little bit on the outer corner, not much. And when there's little to no product left on the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend upwards. Because I want these colors to blend together nicely. These shadows blend so beautifully, you guys. Ooh, I'm kind of loving this sunsetty moment I got going on right now. I hope the rest of the palette is this good. I'm only two shadows in, but Hey, I'm hoping. And I kind of want to drag it out a little bit. Not by much. I'm going to be using very light strokes doing this. But I do want to drag it out just a tad. Next, I'm going to take the shade Guantamana Meta. Guantamana Meta. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm just really bad at pronouncing stuff. But I'm going to do the exact same thing with this shade. I'm just going to keep it a tad bit lower in the crease and a little bit more on the outer corners. I'm going to pack this color on. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it upwards. And there's little to no product left on the brush. I want to start to go bold with this. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I want my lid to be, for the most part, totally open. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M421 brush. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my inner corner and some of my lid right now. Just because I really want these colors to come out and break through. Like I wanna make a statement with these next few shadows. You guys will see. Okay, so next, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this dark blue called Vera Medro. God, I feel so bad. Vera, Vera Dero, Vera Dero. But it's this absolutely gorgeous dark blue shade. So excited to use this shadow. This is the one I've been eyeing the most. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on like the outer part of where I put that concealer down with my finger, like so, as you guys see. On the outer part and in the middle, like I kinda want this shadow everywhere. I'm kinda living for it. This shadow is so freaking pigmented, I did not expect that. I mean, I expected it to be pigmented, but holy shit. The next shade I'm going to be dipping into is this shade Celia. It's like a lighter, more teal blue. Again, same thing with my finger. And I'm gonna make these two blend out. And I'm going to place this one more on my inner corner. Oh my god, that's such a pretty color. Holy sh**. That is freaking gorgeous. 
Oh my god, I just want to put this all over my lid and have like a little mermaid moment with this. So pretty! Why aren't more influencers talking about these except for Kathleen Lights? These are amazing! Okay, I'm like super psyched to continue with this look. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Next, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Cafecito and I'm going to be blending that in to my outer corner just a tad. I just want to add a pinch of this to make it a little bit darker and then a tiny bit in the crease as well just to define it a little bit more. God, I'm loving all these colors together. These are gorgeous. Honestly, you guys, one other thing I've noticed, I am getting literally no fallout with these colors so far. Like, I have had zero fallout. It doesn't look like it anyway here. I'm not seeing any. If you are someone that hates fallout, you will love this palette. I haven't gotten fallout once. I'm gonna take this shade La Costa next in the palette. Same thing, just gonna grab the shade with my finger, like so, and I'm just gonna place this over top of that aqua color. This is definitely the chalkiest shade out of all of them for sure, but... Oh my god, the effect it gives is freaking beautiful. Yeah, so far that has been the only shadow to give me some fallout. So I'm just gonna brush some of that away. Thank god it wasn't any of the colored ones. Otherwise, that would have been a pain in the butt. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that dark blue shade, Veradero. Add that on the end just so we don't lose any of it. You guys, I am absolutely loving how this look is turning out. The only thing is I'm wondering how I'm going to use that last shade that I have to use now on the palette because I have used every single color but one. That is my task. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on the bottom lash line now. I'm gonna grab that shade Coco Taxi again one more time on my Morphe E18 brush. Sorry, I didn't mean to flick you guys off there. I'm gonna go ahead and buff this out all over my lower lash line. I think I finally know how to incorporate this last shade here in the palette, this L Melison. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it like a little moment right here. All right, you guys, now I'm going to go ahead and pop in some lashes, possibly some eyeliner, and I will be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and popped on some falsies, the same ones that were in the boxy charm that I was telling you guys about before, and I absolutely love these lashes. Like, I'm honestly living for these. I think they're so pretty and voluminous and lengthy. I am totally obsessed. They're from the brand Baddington Lashes. These are in the style Monroe 3D Silk Lashes. And then the lip I am wearing right now is also from the boxy charm. It is the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hold up. Verona. Absolutely love it. Such a gorgeous nude. So I'm sure the dying question that you all want to know, what do I think of the palette? You guys, this is honestly one of the best palettes I have used in a long time time. The way that these shadows blend is unbelievable. I love the color selection. I think the color selection is absolutely gorgeous. These colors blend like a dream. They're so incredibly pigmented. This palette retails for $28. Do I think it's worth the money? Absolutely. freaking lutely It comes with eight shades, four mattes, and four shimmers, which I think is such a good idea because I think it's just smart to have an equal amount of each. That way you have like a good selection to choose from. I feel like you can do eight ton of different looks using this palette. Honestly, the only thing I can think of as a complaint with this palette, there isn't any real inner corner or brow bone highlight. That's pretty much it, but honestly, I don't mind that. It's really not a big deal to me. Just the quality of these shadows, it's so outstanding. I can honestly look past that and like not even care. This gets a huge A plus from me, you guys. I think it is absolutely outstanding and you guys should go ahead and check this palette out for yourselves. Would totally go ahead and buy that palette. I'm so happy that I got it in the boxy charm because I'm absolutely obsessed now and I already know this is going to be my summer palette. And yeah, you guys, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and have a great rest of your night or day wherever you guys may be. I will see you guys on my next video. And remember, stay weird, my friends. Bye, you guys. Me, I'm kind of obsessed. Ooh, this, I'm like obsessed with this palette. This is like all I'm gonna bring with me to Greece. I'm so it's beautiful.